वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स पॉइंट ट्वेंटी थ्री सो स्टेटमेंट इज दैट द फुटिंग सपोर्ट्स द लोड ट्रांसमिटेड बाय टू कॉलम्स ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर द फुटिंग इफ रिएक्शन ऑफ सॉइल प्रेशर ऑन द फुटिंग इज यूम टू बी यूनिफॉर्म सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द लोड ऑफ फोर्टीन केप्स एंड फोर्टीन केप्स दैट इज अप्लाइड ऑन कॉलम एंड दिस कॉलम is supported this footing is supports the load transmitted by these two column and it is given that the soil exert a uniform pressure on the footing is assumed to be uniform so what we have to find is we have to uh, we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so this is a very easy and simple problem so let's start with the solution as it is given that this uh, foot the uh, the pressure uniformly pressure uh, by the footing is taken as uniform so this will be the reaction of this footing will be uniformly distributed load but we do not know this uniformly distributed load and this should be equal to the sum of this load so what we will do is that how we will find this w so this w will be equal to 14 plus 14 this load divided by the total length of this which is equal to 18 that will be converted into this load will be converted into distributed load and the reaction will be this w so 18 14 plus 14 divided by 24 feet will be equal to 1.167 kips per feet. Now we have this distributed load, so you can easily draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. I will show you how you will draw this. So let take it as a beam. there from this point till this this distance is taken as 6 feet from this till this this is also 6 feet and the remaining this distance is 12 feet at this point we have a load of 14 kips and at this point we have also a load of 14 kips and we have a uniformly distributed load as well that is reaction by the footing which is assumed to be uniform given in the question and this is w is equal to 1.167 kips per feet so we will draw the shear force diagram so for that you have to draw vertical lines from the end of this beam and then a horizontal line which shows the length x in the direction of length so shear force will be in kips okay so now you can see at x is equal to 0 clear so you have shear force will be equal to 0 because here there will be x 0 so there will be no shear force so we will get this point clear now at x is equal to 6 feet clear so when x is equal to 6 feet clear so this w this uh, shear force will be equal to w into x clear and that will be equal to w is 1.167 and x is 6 feet so it will be uh, 7 uh, kips so let e division is 5 so 5 10 similarly minus 5 minus 10 so 7 will be somewhat here clear 
this is seven so from you can see that this load is a uniformly distributed load till 0.6 it is a constant so shear force will be one degree higher and this line will be a straight line now at point at this point you can see a load of 14 kips is applied so this is minus 14 because it is downward so minus 14 plus 7 is minus 7 so it will be come downward so this will be minus 7 now again in this region in this region of 12 feet so shear force will be 12 into 1.167 and this will be again 12 into 1.67 will be again 14 clear and minus 40 minus 7 plus 14 will again bring it to 6 7 so again this will be the at this point will we have the shear force 7 and this will be a straight line because this distributed load is a constant line now at point this point we have again a minus 14 kips load so plus 7 minus 14 will be minus 7 so it will be minus 7 so shear force will change to minus 7 and at x is equal to this point 18 feet shear force will be 0 because 14 plus 14 when converted into distributed load is minus 1.67 and again this is plus 1.167 and it will bring it to 0. So this is your shear force diagram. Now we will draw the bending moment di uh, diagram with the help of shear force. So bending moment will be unit will be kips into feet. So this is point 0. I will choose another color okay so at uh, point zero we have bending moment will be zero because x is equal to zero now you can see that uh, area under the shear force diagram will be this one this is the area under the shear force diagram and it will be equal to one over two seven into six which will be equal to 21 clear so we will plot it at this point 21 let each one is 10 this is 20 similarly this is minus 10 this is minus 20 you can take a little bit higher and depend upon your availability of space so at this point we have uh, minus 21 i will write it 1 over 2 into height is 7 and base is 6 feet clear so 42 divided by 1 is 21 and you can see that uh, shear force is one uh, straight line with uh, one degree so bending movement will be second degree curve and slope is positive so it will be counterclockwise so it will be like this now again you can see that uh, this is this is plus 21 and you can see this area is again the same because this will this is the half this will be minus 21 so plus 21 minus 21 will at this point it will be zero so at, if i plot this point so this will be zero and slope is increasing so it, this will be the second degree curve will be in counterclockwise direction and again there is the same scenario this is plus 21 and the slope is increasing so it will be again 21 you can assume this is 21 and again this portion is minus 21 this area will give you minus 21 so plus 21 here minus 21 so it will be 0 and this will be like this so this is your shear force and bending moment diagram you can also draw it by using equation that uh, was already discussed in problem uh, 
I will show you in this problem boat problem you can also calculate them by using this or if you have a sufficient knowledge you can just draw it like I have drawn over here uh, uh, sorry not here here I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and keep watching thank you